Greetings, folks. What I have here is yet another clock radio. With wood grain. You know how many of these things I've got? Well, if you have to ask, you don't want to know, so... Yeah, probably better you don't ask at all. <laughs> I ought to be honest with you. I only picked this up to make this video. And I really only picked it up as well. The other reason is because it was so cheap. Six ninety nine is suspiciously cheap for a clock radio these days. At least anything that's actually worth buying. You know, it's beyond the stupid mountains and piles of iHome crap that you usually find. Well, it's not really iHome anymore. It's whatever the latest thing is. I don't even remember. Maybe it is iHome, but it's those new ones that have got all the stupid flashing RGB LEDs all over them, and the phone chargers, and all the other nonsense that you really don't need. All you need is something that's simple, sleek looking like this. You know, I know that wood grain really isn't in style anymore, but it should be, man. It, it just looks so timeless. It looks classy. Nothing screams 1980s like wood grain, so... In the 1980s, from what I've heard, I, don't, I never got to experience them. I'm too young for that, but from what I've heard, it was a great time, you know? So... Anyway, it's actually in pretty good condition, all things considered. It's a little scraped up, but not too bad. It's also a little dirty, but, you know, what clock radio isn't a little dirty from dust sitting on nightstand for, you know, 30 plus years. This is a JIL candle, model JCR365. I swear I have seen that model number before. AM, FM, electronic rock... Electronic radio clock receiver. That's a very interesting thing to call it. There's more information. Made in Hong Kong for Jutan International Limited. There's a serial number. I don't think that 74 means anything. I'd be kind of surprised this was made in the 70s, but you know, it's here. So. All the controls are on the front, including the snooze button. I don't think that's a very smart position for the snooze button. It does have a dimmer. Doesn't really do much, but it's there. There's the band. Speaker, I would say, is maybe like a one and a half inch speaker. There's your band switch your radio switch, and of course, whether you want to wake to the alarm or the radio. Might as well just switch that over to the alarm, because that's what we're going to do. And before we do that, we're going to go ahead and have a listen to the radio, which I hope is going to work, because I had one hell of a time trying to get it to work. That's max loudness, by the way. I don't even know what that song is supposed to be, but whatever. Tuning this is not fun, I can already tell. And parking is free at the Belmont Interference. The entire upper half of the band is just completely trashed. Alright. Let's lower the volume a little bit and switch that over to AM. The tuner on this radio, from what I've found, is just completely useless. Proven oxy technology that quickly destroys viruses, odors, or no, it happens. Well, 
war means more than getting money. Because at the end of the day, he's just doing what he loves. Everyone is focused on themselves, so really just nurture yourself and don't worry. Because of how late it is, there's a lot of stuff on the band right now. Well, not anymore. Probably because it hit the dead spot in the tuner. Yeah, this tuner just really kind of sucks. I went somewhere nice. When do I go somewhere nice? Never. I never were. So. There you go. There's your really bad, crappy tuner, which is indicative of a cheap clock radio. Maybe it was better when the thing was brand new, but it's certainly not that great now. I'm going to go ahead and set the alarm. We'll set that off. See what that actually happens to be. Pretty sure it's a 60 hertz foghorn, but we'll find out. I missed it, but uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Very dirty volume control. Maybe some of this would improve if I cleaned the volume control. But uh, either way, there's your candle, model JCR-365, or JCR-365, I don't even think there's a dash. Yeah, there isn't even a dash. Clock radio from the 80s, and another one of those ubiquitous wood grain monstrosities from times past. Thank you for watching, and if you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below.